Hello and welcome to Trains in the Attic. You might remember last year I had to play with this device but I never actually finished it off. This year I'm actually going to get it working. So I'll do the titles and then run through everything with you. This is a wave sound module. It's basically a sound player which can also do a few light effects. You've got two audio outputs with volume control. Then it can be advited either push buttons or via DCC accessory or even um, a local decoder, but I would recommend an accessory decoder. Uh, I'll take the top off and then show you what's happening inside. Inside is actually quite a simple affair. You've got a couple of microchips doing all the processing. Then you've got these blocks here which are actually opto isolators which mean that your DCC signal will never actually touch the signal from uh, the rest of the device. So this will allow it to be controlled by most, if not all, accessory decoders. So I'll put the lid back on. Uh, this is powered by 5 volts via the USB here. You have a power indicator, USB indicator, and then for switches. Uh, you'll see that you've got one common return and eight uh, inputs. But you'll think your DCC system doesn't have a uh, like that, so uh, it's worth looking at a decoder. To control for outputs, of uh, this unit I'll be using for Digitrex DS64 and it's worth a quick look underneath the top to see what's actually happening here. These are the outputs and you can see that it's actually a common, uh, common return for both of those. So this will mean that I just need to connect one of these to the common on here and then that will be everything uh, sorted so what i do is i have created some wave files on my computer i'll show you how i upload them to this device i'll do some screen capturing I have now gone to the website which is avtproducts.com you then hit download and then you can click on user manuals sound modules then you click on the 200 series this does give you software to create your own sounds. Then you download right software for this, which is that one there. And you will get to security warning. That's a fits, which is the first thing we download. Then you also download that one there, which is the setup. So 
we're going to ignore first risk, set for risk, and then just load for software. And we say yes, we want to allow it to do this. And then it's just going to install it. This will take a little moment. And then for installation is there. Then we go and run uh, the additional folder. So I'm just going to open it with file Window Explorer and then extract all and just extract it. Then you run this program that should make all the changes. And just quickly read for English manual. Uh, just quickly read and finish direction. So you need to run that little program as administrator once you've got your a uh, device attached. So I'm going to grab one of my USB cables. This one here should do. Attach one side into the computer. Then attach the other side into the device. Our window should install all the bits. Closing all the tabs. Uh, so, just quickly rerun for software. And that's it fixed. So I now go back to my computer where about for software should have installed but I can't seem to find it. There it is, so run for software. Do a checkboard. So you can see the problem it's having. So that's what that bit of software was resolving. So I go back down to my download. Long hand click on that. Run as administrator. Then running first, when I check for board, it's still not wanting to play. So I'll come back to you in a few minutes once I've got this resolved. Okay, so I'm on my different machine, one which I have set this up on before. So I go into the program. We'll give this a project name of... We can't give it a project name. So we click on this one, do a new wave. And then we go to where we have our sound files. 
and this one I'm going to call put in first. Okay, I can't get this to work. I was hoping that last time it was just me being a numpty. But I keep on getting these messages. I know the file is a way for format. And it gets to a point of... How many times do you try before you give up? Okay, I'm giving this one final attempt going through the instruction manual step by step so load for software click on clear all click yes so we go on to save file calling it misspelt sound and save then we go and click on to Uh, we go on to this one to write the basic onto it. So this is going through doing all the bits. And then we go and let that do its bit. It's initializing over memory. So This is just loading for thing. And then we press cancel that as we got that one board done. Then it's a right successful. So it's saying that that show for size of a file, but as I haven't been able to add anything yet, that's useless. That's telling us for unit just there. And then these tell us how to trigger it. So you've got several different ways of triggering. And then it say how we play it. And uh, we need to tell it to go uh, direct drive, one trigger, key one. So we actually need it to do the DAC for external amp. Then we can adjust the volumes. Then we can choose the interface group. Then we go for our new WAV file in that box, which is a Click on that, 
Click new way file. Choose your way file. And press open and I get this error message. It doesn't say anything about this error message. So I'm absolutely stuck. So with this stuck here, thank you for watching. Sorry for wasting your time. And I'll see you all on set day when we're chipping Thomas and Percy. So thank you for watching. Uh, thank you very much, Richard.